Hi, I'm Josh. Well, it's early morning, and <laughs> I have removed my mix, mixothera, whatever it was that reduced the time of day and increased the time of night. But we're still here, and I still want to head on south to Northwind Collar Pass. Eventually, I want to uh, also go to Pilgrim, back to Pilgrim's Trench because apparently the ice blade of the no, apparently the ice blade of the monarch is somewhere near there. It's not obeying me. I say place marker and it doesn't obey. That's is it? Do anyone know uh, a way to hard cancel? Uh, the ability to uh, place, to ability to fast travel on the map. I see. See, see. I tried to move it, but it didn't. It didn't obey. No, that's not where I'm. I'm pointing. Thank you for your attempts. I guess I need to mod this as well. Remove, place. This is the closest I can get. Whatever. Heaven help me. Long uh, wind running. Alteration. Alteration. Wind running. I am placing one of my compass markers here. Marker. Not the one at Frost Flow. Uh, set location. Actually, what's which one is it? Uh, location two. Okay. Exit. Let's try again. Set location number two. Yep. Okay. Altoria. Discover anything interesting with those uh, books? Oh well, yes. La Toria deciphered a new spell tome from some of the ruined books you brought here. La Toria made an extra copy for you as well. Lovely. Thank you. Kindle. I already had that. What can La Toria do for you, Gilmar? Gather and return any ruined books to La Toria. That I can do. Ah, uh, was again. Deep storage. La Toria greets you. Alright, one moment, man. One moment. I need to find out where to put my paintings. Hi. I have some ruined books for you. Ah, uh, good, good. It will take some time to decipher these. Come Hi. tomorrow and Notoria will let you know what she has found. I finished the building the field station near Sarthal. Uh see you soon, my friend. Mm -hmm. I fin I finished building the world field station near Sarthal. Very good, Guildmaster. Together, we are sure to discover some fantastic things. Yes. Nice. Hi. You made it here quick. Oh, yes. Everyone is eager to get underway. Mm hmm. We've delved into the main chamber already and broken through the stone blocking our way. But as expected, there are obstacles. Ah. If you wouldn't mind. Could you venture in and clear out any of the wildlife that is inside? We've tried scaring them off with torches and spells, but they are mighty hostile. All right. A moment, if you would. I saw someone. Ah! Oh, that's a wolf. No, there's a person there. Oh, there's a storm cloak patrolling. It's fine. I did say it was daytime. Hi. Hello. Do we have everything we need? Yes. We should be fully equipped and good to go, Guildmaster. I'll be sticking around base camp to make sure that everyone has whatever they might need. Good, good. Thank you. Have a good one. Hmm. Yes? What is it? We good? 
Yeah, should be interesting. Not as interesting as raccoons here, to be sure. Just an old Nord cave and all. But could be fun. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, then. Oh, there goes the researcher. Hi, care. Good day, friend. What are you going to do between digs? Well, I mostly help Ariana move her inventory around. And Professor Marassi or Orion and whatever they need in prepping for a dig. I see. But now that you mention it, I do have some extra time on my hands. And I have a little knack that might help you. How so? If you bring me five samples of any type of ore, I can prospect them for you. Hmm. I can usually find another trace ore type or a gem that most other people would overlook and lose in the smelting process. I see. If I do find one, it will derive from one of the samples. So you'll get four of them back and a new element, which is usually the better variety. Hmm. Just let me know. Sure. Uh, I don't have any ore for you, sadly. How goes the work? It goes well. It was nice praying down that big slab and not knowing what to expect for once. Instead of just, you know, looking for metal. Hmm. Alright. Hey, Orion. Good to see you again. So, you think the museum will manage without you? Oh yes, Avram can certainly handle things for a while. Plus, mm -hmm. I have wanted to join an expedition for some time. This should be quite fascinating. Alright. Have fun. Until next time. That's his, uh, his signature blade. Alright, let's have a look at what we found here. Lots of wild animals. And sure, I could kinds piece them to death, but, uh, you know, that's not gonna help Orion or the boys. There we are. Indeed. A super trench knife, or an arrow lock pick. Did I dump all of my former heavy stuff? Yeah, I think I did. Huh. This is interesting. Windcaller's emblem. Those to your right like to crawl in the dark. Those to your left, bleh, blank. Like to slither in the cold. Or like to kick some ass, I don't know. Something, something in the cold. Yep. Needless to say, I'm gonna go both ways. Ah! I'm also gonna look both ways because there's probably something hidden here. I'm actually very, very sure there's something hidden, hidden here. Wolves and other cretins fighting each other. Ooh. Worm shroud. I need to remember I have worm shroud next time I'm going to fight necromancers. Sadly, I didn't have the time to charge up a Howling Blast, because that would work. <laughs> Let's just grab them. The Master Destruction spell that I love so much. Frozen Orb and Howling Blast. Yep, Ice Race. I knew it. Bunch of dead hunters, too. Hmm. Nothing much of value. Ah! Okay, I'm guessing that that's the end point for now. And we should find our way back. Then again. There was something back here. Right over there, Zs. Yeah. Does more go in? Th yeah. Something, something more. Huh. Whatever. 
on we go. Ah! I wonder where the rest of the words of my favorite shout are. It's that life shot. Oh yeah, I like Howling Blast. I think they did now. And if not, not for lack of trying. Of the accursed, immortal ghost fights for you. Interesting. I think you can, you can enchant multiple objects with that to get multiple spectral allies when you start equipping things. Though that's the style I will never employ. Oh my, what is that? I believe I remember what that is. Icy Shard, one out of six. Oh brother, where art thou? Ah! I see you not, but you're there. I'm guessing there's two shards here. There's a dead bear. Ah! Oh, I know a way to level conjuration. Necromancy. Uh, uh, sword. Nope. Instead, I'm going to do, um... I can't even do Dread Zombie? Really? Revenant, then. Rise. Second shard, ready to go. Nothing here, though. Report back to Marassi. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um Crease of Tornado at the third location. Only works outdoors. Okay. Ah. They're small anyway. You're not small. Um. Ah. Uh. Hey, yeah. Uh. I don't know what that's named after, but it's certainly named after something. Or someone. I love doing that so much. Okay, buddy. Time to end this. Trent Frostbite Spider. Where's Aya? Over here. She's the biggest Frostbite Spider I've ever seen. Human flesh. Yeah, you don't say. Petrify. Don't know if I have power lies yet. That was an enchantment. Hmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna do much ado about snow elves to the end, and the ice plate of the monarch to the end. Uh, after going to White Run and going to the Silent Moons camp. And, you know, that includes doing the, um, Thieves' Guild quest. Okay, we're back to where we started. 
Let's return to Marasi and say that the majority of the animals have been cleared out. Also, I found these eternal ice. Show the icy shore to Arian. Hmm. Exit. Correct. Inigo may or may not have gotten lost. <laughs> Thank you. Something on your mind? Nothing at all. My mind is blank. Okay. Hi. Let us ah, good day, my friend. Have you ever seen anything like this? This ice shard? Oh my. Let me see that. Please do. Uh, yes, it is crystallized ice, otherwise known as eternal ice or eternium. It is a pure elemental manifestation of frost magica. Wow. In many ways, it's much like concentrated stalkrim. Incredibly mm. rare. Stalkrim. In fact, the only known sum of the element was forged into a staff. Really? By a wizard named Hromir. Legend tells it was broken into six pieces. If you come across any additional shards, let me know. Sure. Why are you carrying around human flesh? Until next time. Uh, I just got it off of uh, whatever. Alright. Good day. Well, the cave should be safe again. There was a giant spider in there, among others. Ah, good news. We'll head back in right now and continue the dig. Give us a few days and check back in in case anything comes up. I've got you on my so compass. Give us a hand if you're available. Would make things go much quicker. Nah, I'll wait. Uh, compass. Uh, wind running. I got a plan. something here. There's also bound to be a necromancer here as well. No, there isn't. Okay, fine. What is here? Grey Winter Watch. Let's have a quick look around this place. Trolls. The biggest fire magic I have is Forbidden Sun and... Flame strike, bombardment, volcano. Yeah. I'm going to charge my forbidden sun. I'm going to also bombardment. Look at this place. Dead trolls are all I see. Nothing in particular worthwhile. Dead bandits, I guess. Not seeing any artifacts like uh, Froki's bow. Huh, that's unique. Found one. <laughs> Found an artifact. Froki's bow. Deal stamina damage. I've already hang hung I've already hung up the other bow. The bow belonging to uh whatever their name was, the lady who Angie, Angie's bow, who gave us some uh, archery training. Yeah, I put that in the in display as well. Oh, Froki's bow is now also gonna be on display. Whoop. On we go. Back to White Run. White Run City, specifically. Uh, actually, I want to go to Silent Moon's camp first, and then to White Run City. That's correct. Alright, there's someone there. Whoop. Could have sworn it was wind running. Yep, there's someone there, definitely. Which fighting an astronaut? There are no winners in that situation. Oh no, some poultry amount of fire damage. <laughs> I am nearly immune to magicka. Huh. 
Okay, that's the hunting room meter where we're eventually going. But not quite yet. There's a guard. Ah, there was a, a thing here. If I cor recall correctly, there's something about the uh, Western Watchtower. Um, but, um, don't guard orders, Hakkar. South of White Run's Western Watchtower is a uh, Dawn Guard stash. Nah. Don't know if I'm gonna end it this episode, but I do know that I I know I have to go there for the Pilgrims thing. But south of the Western Watchtower is apparently a Dawn Guard stash, and I'm gonna find that one. Also, some in Rorikstead and on the Central Tundra, but details. Just guards here, no invasions. Good, good, good. Damn, this is cool. Screw being a werewolf, just rushing around is so much more fun. Now this is gonna get a bit different. As long as the game don't crash. I wanted to use Stormcall, but I could also use Vampire Sun. But let's use Stormcall. Yep. And because I'm overpowered, it only takes three seconds for this one and a half seconds for the shot to recharge. Empire Seduction is back. Thank you. You taste delicious. Right here. There you are. Oh, you're tough. Uh, Not that tough. I fussed you uphill. You should be fine. Kill you. Ah, a challenge. Good. Hi. I have a drain spell, don't I? Show me. Show me, homie. Okay. Ruin my fun, would you? Ah, oh, well. I've had my fun. Did I not have this? I do now. Hmm. Lunar Steel Sword, Lunar Iron Sword. I don't know if I... Oh, they respawn, like, randomly. Okay. Light Armor Forging. Interesting. So, Lunar... I had s four Lunar Weapons already, but I guess they sp respawn semi-randomly? Hey, Inigo. Sorry about the storm. Let's go inside. Spell sword time! Ah. We're all very much awake. Is someone there? Me! Ah. 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 Did I change my shouts to... Yeah, become ethereal. I want uh, not essence. Rip the other one. Um, 
Okay, that only hit one guy. No. You hit me pretty hard, I'll acknowledge that. Thank you. Friendly, friendly reminder to self, if I'm ever going to capture someone alive or enslave them, I want to do it without Inigo the sniper. Because Inigo is a badass. And by that I mean he will kill anybody who comes in, in my way. Whether I like to or not. I mean, I could I could whistle to him, but I am not that good with him yet. Uh, tower. <laughs> I like that. Just fuck that. <laughs> Just tower it. Iron Mace. I definitely already have one of those. Hmm. Seared Slaughterfish. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Uh, let's dig. Yeah. I think between episodes, I am going to have to let the storm die off. I'm going to get the Dongar cache and then go into Whitewood City. You taking a break? He's... <sighs> Malrus's Codex. Now this is good. This is going to be amazing. The pages in the Codex are packed full of useful information, notes, and musics from Malrus. Using its pages, you can gain experience of his explorations as you pursue your own. The Codex gives you the ability to study and gain one random skill point for every 20 locations you discover. <whistles> Simply choose study from the menu. Hmm. Codex can also be utilized once per day. Skill points. Hmm. Connect to the legacy support of module of Loaded. When you select an ability bonus, special power can be used once or will continue to be applied to passive effect for 24 hours. Uh, theory of weapons and armor. Chance of finding Ethereum ore in Dwemer equipment? Nope. Skyrim unique treasures? Don't have that yet. Uh, fossil mining? Don't have that yet. Captured fairy mount? Display 12 or more fairy keys in the museum to gain a friend or, or friend of fey ability. Making threads or animals and spray guns not hostile towards you. Fishbowl mod? Uh, something something. Swift swimming and water breathing. Interesting. Great column. Locked to an arrow. Forced scar. Words to reveal a random map marker location. Interesting. After you've initially visited the land. Sure. Activate, please. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, it doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, I've already looted Maurus' stuff. Is there any more, um... No. Any more lunar iron equipments to be found here? I don't think there is. There might be. Up there. Whoop! But I don't think there is. Okay. Well, it's still stormy weather, and I'm not going to be dumb enough to go to the Western Watchtower in this weather. So, if you'll excuse me, next episode we are going to go south and find that Dawnguard cache. Thanks for watching. See you next time.